So here's the thing I built. Uh, one day I told my therapist, I said, I don't really feel like I have good days. She said, how would you know that for sure? And I was like, well, I would do a short survey every day and report on it and then collect data and collate that data and I could get analytics about how my days are going or at least how I think my days are going. And then I could look at that data over time. So that was a year and a half ago and I have been doing the daily-ish almost every day since then. What it is, it's just a Google form I put together with a bunch of questions. I do it every night before bed. It takes like 20 seconds. Make some notes about what made today remarkable. This way, if I go through it in the spreadsheet, I'll remember a bit about what happened. Track a bunch of habits, all my regular ones. Did I eat food I made or did I eat takeout? Did I use my notebook? What are the habits I'm tracking for the month? So right now I'm working on making sure I hit my 5 a.m. wake up. Uh, I'm trying to learn Tagalog, so I'm doing a little bit of that every day. And I've got some creativity exercises I've been working on, some stuff uh, I've been reading Felicia Day's book, which is amazing, but also which I shouldn't talk about because that's what the book says. As a person who turns anxiety into large pizzas, one of the things I track is how I eat so that I can map it against what my anxiety is like. Keep track of my workouts, right? Make any notes, did I hit any personal bests? Did I achieve anything? And then what kind of workout did I do, right? Calisthenics, weights, yoga, swimming, etc. Track my mood, I just make a couple of quiet notes about it and I rate it out of 10. What this rating means is particular to me. So usually an average day is a five. If I had a pretty good day, it's a six. If I'm looking forward to tomorrow and I'm excited, it's a seven and then it sort of goes up from there. Uh, anxiety works the other way, right? I log notes about my anxiety. Am I under a bunch of stress? Am I stressed out for no reason? And where am I at on that? Just a few months ago, I started tracking a bunch of traits. Uh, I felt like I wasn't really interacting with a lot of my values and I wanted to find out, so there's an expression of sort of 12 things that I want to track and I have a checklist of what do these mean and then just how is my day going, right? Overall, how is my day? I gotta say, after a year, not only do I have a bunch of interesting data about how I feel about how I'm doing, average day, 6.5, not bad. Overall, this helps me track a few things. Not only does it give me a better view into things like my habits, but it also helps me track things like how I'm managing my anxiety. I can look back on some of those high anxiety days and be like, no, 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 there was a bunch of stuff going on. This is a, this is a perfectly good time to be stressed out about things. And if there isn't an obvious stressor, I can look at how I handled that. I can try and identify triggers for that and look after them in the future. I can also see what constitutes a good day. And I can put a bit of thought into that. And because I'm mapping the data over time, there isn't a reason to stress out about any one individual survey. You just sort of fill it out, fire and forget, and then later I'll go back and look at it. So if I am stressed out and I'm having a panic attack or something, this is a quick and constructive thing I can do knowing that future Jim is gonna see this and try and look after it. So that is my daily survey. And we'll look at the spreadsheet for this like another time in the new year, but it's pretty dorky and I'm kind of excited. Staying awesome and always easy. It takes a bunch of work some days, but you do it. Stay awesome.